Hey guys, what's up? I just bought a new uh, device for my diesel heater, uh, which is a power meter. I'm just going to show you how I've got it set up first. I've got a 24 volt power supply, 10 amps, running to two batteries. That's because my wind turbine is 24 volts. Uh, that's the power coming from the wind turbine. There's no wind today. Uh, so I'm running the diesel heater off one of the 12 volt batteries. So let's switch it on and I want to see how much power it uses. Firstly, I'm just going to disconnect the power supply so you can see the voltage drop. So as you can see, the voltage will start dropping down because they're not brilliant batteries. Uh, so I'm going to plug the power supply back in and turn the heater on and then we should see. There you go. That's how much power we're using. Just going to put it up on level six. The pump should start clicking very soon. Hopefully. You can see how much it's taking the voltage down even though there's a power supply on. Glow plug light's still on. Glow plug's still going. Right, the glow plug's done. So now the power usage has gone down considerably. You can see how much grief it was giving my battery, even though I had a power supply linked up to it. So they do need a fair bit of juice to get going. I'm going to leave that recording for 10 minutes while I go have a cup of tea and then we'll run it at a lower level and see how much power it's using there. So that's been running for about 10 minutes on full. That's actually warmer than I've ever seen it, but it's not exactly cold outside. So let's start decreasing and watch the power go down. That's level five. Level four. Level three. Level two. Level one. I'm just going to put it in Alpine mode, see if that makes any difference. Two. Three. Right, now I'm going to do the shutdown procedure. Right, I'm just going to turn the voltage up on my power supply. I just turned it down a touch. Oh, definitely better turn the voltage down some more. Well, let's run it again with the bat with the voltage on 14. I'm guessing it might not have to do as much glow plug warming up. 
this time. So the glow plug's done. That's it, we run the heater for 28 minutes. And interesting to see how much it brutalizes the voltage when it's doing the glow plug thing. So the total amount of power used is 1.51 amp hours. 19 watt hours to run it for near enough half an hour. Now oh, the fan's still going. But they've got it pretty nailed on when they say it uses 40 watts at full power, that's about right, but it didn't seem to go below 10 watts when it was running on minimum mode and the manual says it uses 7, but, you know, we'll just wait till it's finished. I guess the moral of the story is if your battery's rubbish, then these things just ain't going to work. And I did mention before, but I'll mention it again, it's very warm today outside, relatively. It's not the typical wintry day. It's quite sunny here in England. I'd ignore the 168 watts peak because that was when I connected the power supply to the batteries. See, there we go. It's given up. And that's saying a very healthy 14 volts. Now, these things are very easy to fit because they just need to go in between the heater. You've got the heater on the load side and the battery uh, here on the source side. Excuse me, the battery on the source side. I've bought some extra cable off eBay because in emergencies, when I have this in my house, I may end up using the car to charge the batteries. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll put a link in the description to this meter. They can be quite handy. They're not perfectly accurate, but good enough.